ba 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 bombing run. These three comedian combatants will be doing five minute sets, and my mysterious comedian judge will decide who's Joker Ace in everyone's favorite game show, Bombing Run. <laughs> Warning, combatants. If you say the F or C word, Freddy the F bomb, show up, bomb your set, and you cannot be Joker Ace. Let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one. I'm Kevin H. Brady from the heart of the Commonwealth, Worcester, Massachusetts. Great. Let's meet contestant number two. Hi, I'm Sandra Doss coming at you from suburban Philadelphia. And now contestant number three. I'm Tom Myers, and I'm from a city that doesn't know whether it wants to be number one at murder, heroin use, or bad parenting, but it's definitely not sports. Baltimore, Maryland. All right, so let's get up our first comedian combatant to the stage. Give it up for Kevin Brady, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, I've had to come to a painful realization lately. Um, I'm old. Uh, it's, it snuck up on me. I, I am old, uh, but getting old, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really hit you until you are old. You don't realize you're old until it happens. Uh, I had a steak and cheese a few days ago and I still have indigestion. Like that's, that's been my life. I went to the bathroom before the show started. I already have to go back. You know, it's, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'm I'm 37 years old. That shouldn't be old, but I'm starting bird watching. Like, why do I like bird watching now? I've I've recently <laughs> discovered my favorite bird is the pigeon. I love the pigeon because most people don't like pigeons. That's why people think pigeons are dirty. They're disgusting. But you know, they also love doves. Like, how can you hate pigeons but love doves? Genetically, they're the same animal. You know, I imagine these people that, you know, hate pigeons drive around with bumper stickers that say Blue Jay Lives Matter. It's, <laughs> that's a tough joke for some people, but, you know, I I feel like I can say it. I have a friend that's a parrot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't like bird puns. I appreciate their condor, but. Oh. <laughs> I could do more, but I, I don't have much time left on this planet. Um, no, everything uh, everything hurts when you start getting old. Like that that's a thing I didn't believe, but it's true. I wake up in the morning and everything hurts. I went to the doctor a few weeks ago because I was in pain. I didn't remember doing anything, and I'm describing my symptoms. And he says, "You know, Mr. Brady, this is something we see in people that are very physically active. What kind of physical activities do you do?" Most strenuous thing I do day to day is put on my pants. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's it's kind of hard for for the world online to see me, but you know I'm five foot ten, two hundred <clears throat> pounds. I'm I'm American sized. You know mm. I I don't want to doubt this doctor's credentials, but I have a third trimester beer gut. You know I'm audibly <laughs> I'm audibly wheezing on the exam table. <laughs> I, I came in complaining of pain in my left arm and my blood hurting. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not exactly physically active. I haven't played any sports since Little League. Even then, the only position I played was left out. <laughs> <laughs> well, turns out it's something that can actually uh, pop up from people that go to a lot of heavy metal concerts, people that go into mosh pits and headbang and do all that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge metal head. I, I was in a band for 15 years. I'm a little surprised that two decades of self-induced whiplash and consensual fist fighting was bad for my health. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't, uh, I didn't predict Slipknot giving me a slip disc though. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a bad scene. It's a bad scene. Uh, you know, I'm also starting to get nostalgic. I'm getting nostalgic for stupid things now. I'm nostalgic for the early days of COVID when all of our hand sanitizers smelled like freshman year of college. <laughs> 
at least the distillery stayed in business during that time. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this nostalgia is bad. I started listening to the band 311 for the first time in 20 years. Yeah, that's the right response. Nothing screams authentic reggae like five white guys from Nebraska. Uh... <laughs> I was curious, though. You know, I never really knew where they came up with their name. 311 is an interesting name. Turns out yeah. they named themselves after the Omaha Police Department's code for indecent exposure. <laughs> 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 They thought it was funny, too, so they went with it. What's really funny, <laughs> though, is that police department codes are not universal. So a 311 in Omaha is different than a 311 in California. You know what a 311 in California is? No. The band. Possession of child pornography. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. What? Puts the, song, wow. puts the song come original in a new light, doesn't it? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Amber is the color of the alert on my cell phone whenever they come up on Spotify. But that's my time. Thank you very much, Bob. <laughs> All right, let's give it up for Kevin Brady. And Kevin, where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Kevin H. Brady. The H is important. I am not a politician from Texas. Good. Yeah. That's good to know. Good to know. Thank you so much, Kevin. All right. Uh, by the way, I want to introduce my judge for tonight. Uh, please give a big warm welcome to Judge Doom, everyone. <laughs> judge Doom. Um, yeah, uh, what I did was I uploaded the new version of Doom and the judge popped out. <laughs> yeah, that's where I found this judge. Actually, they are a comedian. They they are looking for your setup punch and your appearance in front of a live studio audience. And so next comedian combatant, please welcome Sandra Doss, everybody. Woo! Hello, everyone. So today I used my Christmas gift, which was a bread machine. It's a yeah, bread machine. It made bread. It really worked. I didn't electrocute myself like that one time using the EC bake oven. So you know, we made progress. <laughs> <laughs> It was tasty, you know. You can tell this girl loves carbs, right? Yeah. <laughs> and bread was fine. But guess what? Now I need to wash it and care for it. I just wanted bread. I didn't want a relationship. Mm. So I guess I'm I'm getting rid of that one. <laughs> yeah, no, not 2023 enough. <laughs> so um during the holidays I met a friend. Um, at a bar because I wanted to have a perfect, expertly made dirty martini. And instead of getting my drink made by a pro, the bartender gives me ingredients to make a lousy one myself. I was like, dude, what kind of Build-A-Bear bar is this? Anyway, um, <laughs> I was... Yeah, I told the bartender, you know, I was going to stay for dinner, but now I'm afraid that you might give me a box and say, you know, hey, put your table together from your, by yourself. A table from Ikea. Okay, so I messed that joke up. So sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know, I didn't take my kid to build a bear. I didn't do that when he was younger because, you know, I, I don't see why we have to steal the jobs from those poor kids in China. <laughs> uh, yeah you know I, I i hate to pay to do labor you know at any bar restaurant or any business unless unless it's a buffet that changes everything uh, at a buffet because you know think about it where else can i pile chocolate pudding on my chicken parm with immu impunity and immunity <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, I did it only once when I was pregnant. But frankly, nobody's looking at you. Everybody is busy doing their own disgraceful plate with all kinds of nasty combinations. Yeah, this year, I decided that I'm going to lose weight. I will, you know. For years, I, wa I wore those Lululemon leggings. And uh, then time passed, and then I ended up wearing Lululemon leggings. Yeah. Mm. So I got to get back to that. Yeah, I even uh, hired a, a personal trainer, and the guy has me doing chest presses. Ooh. And he says, bring the barbell 
to your nipple line. I'm like, okay. So I'm doing the exercise. And the guy said, hey, no, 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 lady, you're going to hurt yourself. You're bringing that bar way too low. It's almost by your belly button. I'm like, well, I don't know whose nipple line you're talking about, but I'm 56 and that is where my nipple line is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I joined Weight Watchers, you know, to see if you know, I could speed things up. So I was telling my dad. And I said, Dad, I, I joined Weight Watchers. And he was like, what? What is that? Is that like a come watch fat people kind of club? And mm -hmm. I said, no, no, no. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a whole system. You know, they changed the name. Now it's not Weight Watchers because, you know, people will ask the same thing you're asking. Now they call it WW and, and we have points. And it's like, what? WW and you have score and points? I mean, are you wrestling? I'm like, no, there's no wrestling. He's like, oh, you're not wrestling. But you're like stalking each other to make sure that nobody stops at Krispy Kreme. I'm like, well, no. But uh -huh. um, anyway, it's a support system and we meet and it's supposed to work, okay? And so he's like, well, I don't know. But I want to go watch because no matter what, I know that someone's going to break a chair in half whether you wrestle or not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm trying to be a vegetarian too. Because, mm. you know, uh, you know the, the whole plant based and whatever and all that. But I love meat, man, especially chicken. I really like chicken. And, you know, I want chickens to be happy and have live, lead full life. So, you know, it's not that I hate them. Um, and mainly, the main thing that I want for chickens is to be able to cross the road as many times as they want without having to explain, the, explain themselves to anybody. Um, I think that's my time. So I've been Sandra Doss, and I'm still Sandra Doss, and I will continue being Sandra Doss. <laughs> All right. Let's get up for Sandra Doss, everybody. And Sandra, where can we find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at Sandra Doss Comedy, on Twitter at S. Doss Comedy, and on Facebook at Sandra M. Doss. Somebody took my name. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, took your name. Oh, no. Identity theft. Yeah. Identity I think it's a middle initial. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sandra. And uh, Judge Doom, uh, no, you can't use the BFG on them. No, that's. Oh, it might. If you're not part of the Doom game, big freaking gun. I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. All right. Uh, Judge Doom, oh, you're good to go. All right, so let's get our next comedian combatant up to the stage. Please welcome Tom Myers, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, I just turned 40 this past weekend, and it's really interesting. You know, a lot of people, they're, they're down on birthdays, but I'm not. Like, I love my birthday. Like, one of my favorite memories happened around my birthday. Uh, my 18th birthday, my uncle got me a lap dance. Oh. Yeah. I tipped him 10 bucks. He was actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 40 years old, which means uh, technically I'm a millennial. I know you're looking at me. You're going, wow, I've never seen a millennial that looks like a Gen Xer before. This is awesome. <laughs> I can go ahead and check that off on my bingo card. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I look it, but I'm not Gen X. My generation is the one who invented the concept of making money on OnlyFans. So technically, we're Gen Triple X. Oh. <laughs> Let's just get that right. Mm. Um, I'm 40. I think that's bad. You know, I have a dad who's 78. And Ooh. he's been smoking since he was in high school. So that means my dad's been smoking for more than 60 years. Mm. And having a dad that old who has smoked that much really does put things like COVID into perspective, like a major respiratory pandemic into perspective. Because before the pandemic, my dad would get that smoker's cough, and my brother, my sister, and I would look at each other and go, this is really serious. We need to get dad checked out. He could Something could be really wrong with him. <laughs> now, thanks to the pandemic, whenever we hear my dad do a smoker's cough, we just look at each other and go, oh, thank God it's only emphysema. <laughs> <laughs> I sat down and talked with my dad right after he turned 78. And I asked him, hey, dad, how do you like being 78? And he goes, 
I never plan to live this long. <laughs> That's where I get my life outlook from, by the way. Mm. He and I were both born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, which is a city that, you know, uh, people expect to hear gunshots outside their window because for us, that's ASMR, basically. <laughs> uh, I have younger nieces and nephews. My older nieces and nephews know that I do this. I have a, a niece uh, who's nine. I have a nephew who's 10. They don't know that I do this. Like They think that I'm an adjunct professor at the University of Maryland. <laughs> That way, when they see me for the first time, they're going to be disappointed in two ways. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because of jokes <laughs> like that, basically. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of Zoom shows. So uh, whenever they come over to the house to spend the weekend, I always have to send them to bed early and I tell them, OK, uh, just want you to go to bed because I'm going to be doing some adult stuff over the computer. And then it dawned on me. Let's say they get old enough to know what adult stuff entails. And let's say I'm not doing this. I don't want them to have this image of me, you know, in front of my computer with my pants down, pleasuring myself in front of everyone else on Zoom. <laughs> I don't want them to think that I open for Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Louis is doing fine. I hear he's opening for Bill Cosby now. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> Their first gig was Andrew Cuomo's retirement party. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I vote Democrat and I joke about them. Who says I'm not bipartisan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this set on a positive note. Uh, I got my uh, I got my SCD results back and. Uh, you know. But uh, no, I'll go ahead. I'm, I'll be real with you right now. Uh, my grandparents uh, were married in 1947, and they're still together. Whoa. That's 75 years. I don't want you to hurt yourselves trying to do the math in your head. <laughs> they've, been, they've been married since uh, for 75 years, and they're still together because my family loves them so much, they're not quite ready to bury their corpses yet. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. I haven't told anybody they're dead yet because I'm still hooked on their meds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. My name is Tom Myers. Thank you. All right. Let's give it up for Tom Myers, everybody. And Tom, where can we find you on social media? Uh, the website is TomMyers.us, spelled M-Y-E-R-S, TomMyers.us. You can find all my, uh, I've, I linked all my socials on there. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I use a site called Mastodon because I left Twitter because of Elon Musk. So I uh, find me on there on uh, on Mastodon. It's a growing site, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Sweet. Thank you so much. I have joined on Mastodon as well. Yes, I left the dumpster fire known as Twitter. There's already enough stuff going on. But um, let's give a big round of applause for all of our three three comedian combatants tonight that they did such an amazing job yes i loved them all they were amazing and now i go to our mysterious comedian judge judge doom do you have the joker ace for the night one way ticket to where no 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 you have to pick the joker ace it's always hard with these uh, mysterious comedian judges just to find out who the Joker is. Oh, in a hand basket, hand basket too. Well, that's great. All right. Okay, so now I know who the Joker Ace is of episode two of season four of the Bombing Run is. It is Tom Myers, everybody. Woo! Woo! Awesome. All right, All right. Tom, you get to go on Dogfight Edition shortly so thank you so much for playing and uh that was it for uh bombing run season four episode two so for me judge doom and uh sergeant minion this has been an oddly funny production thank you
This has been an oddly funny production.